we are actually heading into the 2020 census. I know it's still, uh, we're still wrapping up 2017, which has been a very long year. But the census, the bicennial census, which uh, counts everybody in this country, is something that uh, is a very important thing, especially for representation. All of our, you know, congressional uh, kind of allocation of representation in the House, in the state legislature, how political representation boundaries are being drawn, all depends on how the census is being conducted. And a problem that has been reported in NBC News, and we will tweet out this article as well, is that the current preparation for the 2020 census is, uh, number one, being run by the Commerce Department under Trump's favorite rich person, uh, Deputy Wilbur Ross. And this is a, uh, the current, the way they're doing it now is that they're actually trying to save money on this process by making a lot of the surveys and the questionnaires that are usually being done during the census to happen online. Now, this thing in and of itself may not sound like a big deal. I mean, we do mostly all of our lives online these days, but having more of this questionnaire being done only online and not in person is especially bad for lower income people and especially bad for the Asian American community who, number one, have language barriers And number two, uh, are also poor income in a lot of sense and may not have steady internet access and cannot access these questionnaires, which means what will happen is that there is a very high likelihood Asian Americans will be undercounted, literally forgotten during the census process, which will, of course, reduce our representation and our political power. So this is a very, very important issue that we need to pay attention to going forward. 